to know a secret to keep healthy and live long life? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Hawa binti Abra Hafiz. So, today, I want to share with all of you the key to keep healthy and live a long life. But first, let's begin with a simple introduction of nutrition. Nutrition is the science that interprets the interaction of nutrients and other substances in food in relation to maintenance growth, reproduction health, and disease of an organism. It includes food intake, absorption, assimilation, biosynthesis, catabolism, and excretion. But I'm not going to talk about this thing. I'm going to talk about the good nutrition that our body needs to keep healthy. That is, macronutrient and micronutrients. First, we have to consume a lot, lot of macronutrients. There are three main essential nutrients for these categories. Our body needs to eat large amount of macronutrient including the primary building block of your diet that is protein carbohydrate and good fat which is it produce your body with energy food that provide protein for our body such as meat fish and eggs or from plant sources like beans nut and some grains were used for our growth health and body maintenance while carbohydrates food such as white bread or pasta and rice are for our central nervous system and brain also healthy fat are important energy sources for our body we can find this good fat in nuts fish and vegetable oils these foods are produce energy for our body some of it help us to against any disease and support many functions in our body. Next, two main essential nutrients that we need but in small amount of micronutrients our body must consume and necessary for optimal health are vitamins and minerals. Vitamins are organic compounds made by plants and animals which can be broken down by heat, acid or air. On the other hand, Minerals are inorganic, exist in soil or water and cannot be broken down. When you eat, you consume the vitamin that plants and animals created or the minerals they absorb. The micronutrients content of each fruit is different. So eat best to eat a variety of food to get enough vitamins and minerals. These two are vital for growth, immune function, brain development and many other important functions. Depending on their function, certain micronutrients also play a role in preventing and fighting disease. Lastly, drinking a lot of water is one of the important main essential nutrients for our health. No one can survive more than few days without water. Water is absolutely crucial for every system in our body. It's also the main thing you are made of. Did you know that 62-70% to 70 of our body weight is water? Well, water improves our brain function and mood. It acts shock absorber and lubricant in the body. It also helps flush out toxins, carry nutrients to cells, hydrate the body, and prevent constipation. In other words, it works as our body fluid and root those nutrition all over our body. You don't have to chop water to stay hydrated. You can just munch on some spinach or watermelon to stay hydrated. So, nutrition did not come from consuming one food only, but by combining them by categories and some amount. Eating a varied diet full of fruits, vegetables, healthy proteins and fats, whole grains is the best way to get enough of these six essential nutrients. Plus, by following a simple pyramid diet and do some exercise can help us to stay healthy and have good life. As we can see, Tun Dr. Mahadi is one of the examples who is still live long life and healthy. He might have some flaws in his life but he has created history despite his age almost at 100 years old. Eating a balanced diet is an important part of good health for everyone. 
the kind and amount of food you eat affect the way you feel and how your body works. That's all from me. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Stay safe and healthy. Work hard, be smart, and love yourself. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye.